Hey guys, so it is Saturday evening and we're getting ready to water our batteries for the first time. So this battery, we had them install this auto watering system, which is these tubes that go all the way around and then it comes up to this guy right here. And this is the kit that we need to use to fill it with. So inside here, oh actually, let me just pull this out. So there's a little tiny water pump here that actually runs on, on 12 volts and interestingly they use a cigarette lighter adapter for it. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and open this guy up. Oh, there's another package in here. So this is the, the power supply for the pump awful large. Oh, there's destructions in there too, but I don't want to destroy anything, so I'm going to skip those. Um, though I have looked at them online, so I have an idea of what to do. So, alright, back to, back to water. Now, we could just open up all 24 uh, little vent holes and fill through that, but this seems like a much easier way to do it. Because basically we just fill the water up in here, and one day we'll buy a distiller and then we can just, we can just distill our own water and not buy gallons of water to fill it. One of the advantages of lithium is you don't have to deal with this, but we're able to get a brand new battery that's going to last us probably twice as long as any lithium, used lithium battery we would have bought. So I think it's good and, you know, we'll see. Only time will tell. Alright, so here's our this extra adapter is for. Um, looks like it's meant to be hooked up to some other thing if you didn't have one of their adapters or something. Yeah, well, that, that fits on there good. Um, I need a plug-in. Didn't think that through very well, did I? Alright, I'm going to just plug in with the lights here. And... You know what? It's going to start right away when I hook this up. So, I think what's supposed to happen is it's going to pump water up through here, and then these little red balls in here are going to spin around. So, come closer so you can see this. So, you see the little red balls in there? So, I'm going to go ahead and plug this in, and absolutely nothing is going to happen. lights on like it's supposed to go. Alright guys, so got this thing figured out. Apparently the fuse was just a little sloppy in there and whatever. Anyway, so we can make it work by kind of squeezing it. So, if you head on over here and take a look at the little red balls. I'm going to go ahead and start this pump up and then we can hopefully see this thing work perfectly and not spray water all over the place. Okay, the balls are actually spinning around in circles really quickly. If I stop it there, maybe you could see them. So at this point, there's no water spraying anywhere. Nothing coming out of any of the holes. I you show all the holes there. So nothing, nothing leaking yet. We're about half, about a gallon pumped in here already. I don't know if we're going to have enough water. <laughs> I don't see anything leaking yet. It's starting to sound different a little bit. Supposedly you're just supposed to watch this thing and when the balls stop, 
then it's done. Oh, there they go. They're starting to slow. Oh, they stopped. I don't know if. Hold on. Let's move back a little bit. I want to see if. Move back a little bit. I want to see if the pump is up out of the water here. So maybe we're just not getting any any water. So I'm going to try to put it down in the corner and tip this. Yep, that's... Oh, nope, it stopped. Okay, well there we are. It's full. That's all there is to it. So now that this thing works and you just basically push the push the thing in to make it go, that's like your on-off switch. I don't know, I think I want to rig up something a little better than this that, uh, yeah, like a, an actual switch. But for now, that worked really nice. So I'm going to pop, well, this is, the, this is the one that the sensor is in. You're not going to be able to see down in this hole, I don't think. But, oh yeah, it filled right up to the top. I mean, not up to the top, but, so I'm guessing there's a, Oh yeah, there it is. There's a float in there. So this thing just kind of pushes up and then there's a little needle. So this thing floats and pushes up the needle and that closes it off. And now I have acid on my fingers. And now I have it on my pants. <laughs> Alright, well anyway, that was fun. So. Alright, so this is the one I had open. I want to show you guys closer and with some light what this thing actually looks like. So just like in a carburetor you've got a little float right down here I'm trying to do this while I'm looking at it on my phone so it's kind of tricky but whatever um, so that part you can see it moving up and down in there when I move my finger a little bit well whatever um, but yeah so it floats up and then that closes the uh, the valve and that's what keeps more water from coming in. So basically the water comes right up to there and stops. And that's why we didn't have water spraying all over the place when the pump was running. And now I will go ahead and disconnect this and we are done watering this battery. So next time this will only take me a few minutes and I probably will start doing this weekly because it's so easy. And I just need to get some more... Uh, some more distilled water or make some more. Maybe I should build a water distiller. Hmm. Alright, if you want to see me build a water distiller, make sure to like, subscribe, and share, and all that fun stuff, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.